So tell us about this whole experience doing the press. Just really, I mean, the support that Stars oh has given God. Vida is unprecedented. I, pr unprecedented. Hey, they're running commercials on regular broadcast no, uh, it's channels. Okay. Yeah. I love Grey's Anatomy, yeah. and it was on like during Grey's Anatomy, wow. and I like, freaked out, and I almost started crying, and I was like, Aww. oh my God, it was oh. surreal. But no, Stars has been backing us so much, and it's and it's and it's amazing because you never know like what, if a network's gonna like, okay, here you have a show, right. or like if they're actually gonna be putting money and stuff, and they've been and putting. Amazing. No, they had a bus driving around New York and LA this past weekend with like our posters on it and like wow. they had candy they were giving out oh, wow. and stuff and just like promoting it. It, it was almost amazing. like they're running for a political campaign almost. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, stars have been has been amazing. Like, oh wow. my god. Thank oh stars is amazing. What's it been like interacting with the fans and the kind of like all the buzz surrounding? And the anticipation. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. it was it was surreal. It was like, so far we've got nothing but love, which is amazing. Cause sometimes you're nervous, especially doing a show like for Latinos and then been, being bit written by Latinos, you want right. to get it right. And I think we did. And so far we've got nothing but good feedback. That's awesome. And it's just, it's just amazing. And like, everybody's been really cool. I've been getting like DMs and stuff from people that like, I used to go to middle school with and they're like, oh my God, I saw your show and I knew it was you. Like as soon as wow. I saw it. Oh, that's awesome. So it was like, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> so for people that don't know, tell us a little bit about the show itself. Like it's written so, by Latinos, done by Latinos. Yes. What is it about though? So the show centers on two sisters moving back to East LA when their mother dies and they're trying to like get the whole situation situated and a lot of like secrets pop up like one thing that's in the trailer is that the mother was married to a woman. I just mean oh. So it's like, wait, Especially what? in the Latin culture, no? Come exactly. Wow. Yeah. She kissed the girl and she liked it. Yeah, she liked it. <laughs> yeah, so it's just been, it focuses on that. That's like the main, like, hub story. And then there's also, like, the gentrification where my character comes in. Mm -hmm. I'm an activist from the neighborhood that's completely against gentrification. And so these sisters are everything I hate. Mm. So I hate them. Wow, that's interesting. The, they're yeah. the white Because gentrification is a big deal right now going down in Boyle Heights and... and, and well, Oh, it's it's really not even just All LA, over, yeah. but like in Chicago, right. people are talking about it in Florida. Yeah. It's everywhere. So the, the great thing about the show is it is Latino based. Right. But all the stories are universal. Right. Mm -hmm. Everybody can really relate to family issues, right. to sister sister right. stuff, yeah. to brother sister stuff. But what I like about it is that is that you know sometimes people think that that groups are just this monolithic. Everybody agrees, everybody gets along, mm -hmm. and they fight the same fight. But that you're fighting, you yeah. know, the, yeah. uh, you know people within within kind of your community, but that you don't think are really part of that yeah. specific community. Well, no, our main our main like villain, the like hentifier, right. is a Latino. Okay. So it's not like we're trying to be like, oh, there's evil white man's coming right. in and trying to do stuff. Right. It's like someone from the community is the bad guy, right. is the villain. Mm -hmm. And so it's that showing that hentification of like gentrification by someone that's hinted, you know? Ooh, wow. that's a, oh, I think yeah. we were just hinting on more Spanish. No, 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 it's cool. actually hentification, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. Well, wow, because that especially, I didn't know. No. <laughs> Depending on where you are, it's like gentrification comes in so many different forms. Oh, like, yeah. You never think about something like that. Exactly. Your own people turning against you, and like mm. it's nice to bring real, real world issues. Speaking yeah. of people turning against you, I was reading up because I'm, I'm, I've, I've been telling you this. You're looking all kinds of sexy today, honey. And you, you're looking you. fabulous. I try. I try. <laughs> <laughs> and I was reading that when you were a little girl, like th the little girls used to like hate on you because they were like you were the tom girl or the tom boy, and they were, well, you yeah. were just like intimidating them and okay. taking away their men. Not taking away their men, but a lot of girls like in high school thought because I was a tomboy, I always hung out with the like the jocks and stuff, and like I hung out with everybody, but a lot of my good guy friends were like on the football team or the basketball team, so girls used to think that I wanted their man. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, bitch, I'm just kicking it. Oh, I don't know if I can say that. No, so sorry. You can say anything. Yeah, but so I'm like, nah. And then I remember one girl specifically, she came up to me like uh, sometime later, and she's like, you know what, I actually like you. Like, I thought you wanted like my boyfriend, but you don't, so you're cool. And I'm oh. like, girl, I do not want your boyfriend. Yeah. If, only you, you, if only you really knew your boyfriend, you wouldn't want your boyfriend either. Uh, okay. You get to know them, because you so hang out with them. I hung out with them, and I knew all the dirt. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. The dirt. Wow. And, and how's your current boyfriend? My current boyfriend's amazing. Yeah, what, what does he do? Tell us a little bit about him. He's he's back here behind yeah, the camera. He's back a little here. quiet guy. I oh, he's that. amazing. We actually met in acting class. He's oh, an actor as well. Nice. I was yeah. gonna say that you have amazing pictures with him on Instagram. Yeah. And he's okay, so he's an actor. That's yes. interesting when you meet someone in acting class because I feel that you get to really see them for who they are. Well, especially our yeah. our where we studied was Ivana Chubbuck. Uh -huh. And so it's all like putting all your
out uh -huh. there and laying in front of everybody. Uh -huh. So it was like, I knew him on that level. And then I also like, he's very like, he has a face that you think he's mad all the time. So uh -huh. like, he's very serious. But like, <laughs> when it's just over there. us, yeah. <laughs> when it's he's just not mad. us, he's not mad no, when it's just us, he is, we would just laugh and laugh. And it's kind of like in the movie Selena, yeah. where she's talking about her, oh, he's so funny. The mom's like, mija, but he doesn't even talk. <laughs> no, but when we're together, oh, we just wow. laugh and laugh. And like, that's, awesome. that's how I feel like with us. Oh my God, that's he's amazing. Was he like your scene partner? in class is that how no, you guys no actually no he was in the master class and okay. I was in the advanced class and I would go and audit because I wanted to learn as much as I could mm -hmm. and so the scene well when he got my attention the first time I really noticed him or ever really saw him he was doing a scene from training day okay and he was Denzel I know that and I was wow. like damn yeah, you yeah. doing Denzel <laughs> <laughs> You know, because a lot of people try to do Denzel, they can't do Denzel, you right. know, and he made his own, like, thing, and I was like, hi, oh. I'm Chelsea, I'm auditing, like. <laughs> so what a beautiful together. story, I love that. Uh, we started casually seeing each other last summer, okay. and then, like, he made it official in the fall. And the first date, nice. where was it? Wow, well, I don't even know what our face days it was. Like, <laughs> we had like the hangouts. Like, he would make me dinner like at oh. his house and stuff. Oh, he can cook. He can cook. Oh, he's that's, a keeper, girl. He's a keeper. Oh, yeah. No, Whoa. A keeper. Yeah, that's it. You got That's he's the one. Oh no. Oh, yeah. He can he's cook. Pretty, I still I, I can't I, do I it. I have my. Bruno Stoney said, "Meet his special summer in acting class." Uh, it's true. Yeah. Well, you true. never know.